a BTCC driver in a Moffat. So Aidan, you did qualifying early today and you qualified a really good ninth, which uh, happens to be your best in your career. Yeah, um, I won the touring cars anyway, so it's, 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 it's great for us all as a team really, the, the Laser Tools guys who put such a hard work into to making the car right, it's, it means a lot for them because I think at the end of the day we're a family run squad, um, everyone with us, they're all friends who were completely oblivious to what the procedures were to run a touring car prior to last year so they're all here for, for Aidan Moffat, they're not here for the touring cars so for them it, it's great because they want to see me do well and obviously for a driver it's, it's great as well, it's, a, it's, it's a, a big milestone for us getting inside that top ten. Now uh, you mentioned last year, last year uh, you got a few points but uh, after the hatch you've already got more than you did of all, all the last season, that's very promising for, for a good step up. Yeah I think we got more points in two races than we did in 30 so yes, that's not the worst start, start to a season uh, in comparison to what we had so yeah I think we had a lot of, a lot of issues at Brands Hatch, it didn't run as smoothly as we would have imagined it, it would have so for that to be the case and for the way it ended to um, for the weekend to work out like that so it's, it's promising we equaled our best qualifying had our best race finish and that was all with issues so hopefully this weekend goes smoothly and it sh should be an interesting weekend I'm sure. Now uh, last year the um, Mercedes wasn't, this wasn't its strongest um, of tracks but this year it does seem that it's, tur it's, it's turned a leaf um, and, it, and it's, a it's, a lot, it's a lot quicker around here. Uh, do you, would, you, would you know a reason why that would be? Um, we've uh, changed a lot of our winter, um, body work etc. Um, done a few test days pre-season, uh, went different directions with setup and ultimately it's all added together and the end product is that it's, it's benefited the car a lot so it's a, a lot of hard work's been put on from the Sisley lads in the, the development side and they've produced a great car and it's all came together. Now, um, how much of an advantage is it for you jumping into a, a car that's already had a season under under its belt, um, not not that instead of going into a car that hasn't hasn't actually uh, hasn't actually been in the championship before? Yeah, I mean it's a, it's a lot easier. Than, they've found out what the a lot of issues were with the car, um, what the setup suits the car, and we've pretty much came in and says thanks, <laughs> Th thanks for. Um, for figuring it out for us to an extent. Obviously, everything's moving forward and and racing. If you stand still, you can go from winning to losing. So we need to keep on developing, um, keep on getting quicker and quicker, keep on tweaking this, that, and the next thing. But when you've got a strong platform to start with, it, it makes it so much easier. The Chevrolet, obviously, we didn't have that um, luxury. We were showing up to the weekend and trying to develop the car in the space of. 80 minutes in the two practices and it wasn't until race three we actually got somewhere so to be able to attack the weekend from the word go on Saturday morning it's a, it's a massive benefit for us. And finally Aidan, um, if you start P9 uh, for tomorrow's race are you going to attack or do you think maybe uh, look for a top five finish um, or, or are you, are you uh, maybe going to hold back and try and see if we can get a good lap time for race two? Um, we've put the softs on for race one, so we'll be trying to get a good lap time. Um, we won't compromise a race to do it, we'll try and get one in there, tr try and fight our hardest for our top ten. We don't know what the drop off is going to be, so we could end up top five, we could end up lucky to be top fifteen. But if we get a good lap time and manage to have a strong race two and sneak inside the top ten, then February 3 could be interesting for us. Oh, sounds easy saying it. It's, um, it's a different story come, come race day, but I, that's, that's the way we're approaching the race weekend. Whether it, it works out like that or not, we'll, we'll find out soon. Okay, thank you very much for your time, Aidan, and very good luck for, for the races tomorrow. Thank you.